I can tell you what sort of things are different between the domestic industry and the commercial industry. So, what you'll notice first of all is how many sinks there are. So, you've got lots of sinks, you've got three sinks here, you've got sinks there, sink there, sink there. Uh, the dishwasher is special, it's a sterilizing dishwasher, it's not like the ones we have back at home. And other than that, uh, you know, you could say it's like a commercial kitchen or a domestic kitchen, but the distinction is the number of sinks, and there was a reason for that which we'll talk about later, and uh, obviously the sterilizing uh, dishwasher and obviously the hoods and things like that. All right, so essentially then what they'll do if you pay $49 for food safety training, they'll come here and show you how to do good food uh, safety practices. So typically, what do you think would be on the uh, sort of agenda to teach food safety? What's those kind of pillars of food safety that people need to know? Hygiene. Oh, sorry. Yep, hygiene. Hygiene, not only of um, surfaces, but obviously personal hygiene. And I don't know if you go to restaurants and you see them all, hopefully, with hair nets and uh, protective gear. Uh, that's to protect the product and protect themselves. But at home, obviously, we don't care about that. And you've gone into some of these uh, other facilities where you don't have any hand wash or anything like that. So that's it. So sanitation is one thing. Protective uh, clothing is another. Personal hygiene is another. What else do you think we'll teach? Cross contamination. Yeah, like so. Vegetables. Well done. Yeah, preventing cross contamination. <laughs> Very good. What's the other two things that we use? So, sanitation, cross contamination, general technique. Kind of. Number one cause of food borne illness. Well, or like make sure the food's cooked properly in the right temperature. Well done. Yeah, adequate cooking. Um, like keeping the temperature, holding temperature. Well done, exactly. Hot things hot, cold things cold, isn't it? So these are the sort of things they would um, teach here. But it's interesting that when you teach somebody something, um, <coughs> you would have thought, well, I've taught you that, I've told you that. Go and practice it. But the translation of knowledge into behavior is not very good. You know, basically, you can tell somebody not to do something, but they'll still do it anyway. You know, speeding on the highway is a classic example. Um, not. Uh, do we, or not wearing your seatbelt, although I think most people do wear seatbelts. But those kind of things, you educate them uh, to do something and they do opposite. Uh, so all this is part of what we call the food safety culture. So when you become managers, when you graduate, uh, half your task is teaching people. You can have all the food safety hazards, part C, food uh, preventive controls, but if people don't <coughs> then you might as well have done them. And this is what's the big uh, plateau we, we find with foodborne illness cases, that we apply HACCP, we do all these food safety inspections, but we still get illnesses because knowledge doesn't translate to behaviour. So in terms of food safety culture, what you find is the behaviour, it's the attitudes of people working in kind of good culture and a bad culture. So an example of uh, these different types of cultures is non-compliance people, these people who actively break the law. Uh, then you have people who uh, are ignorant, say, well, I didn't know raw beef was dangerous, uh, and things like that. Then you get the ones what we call compliance, uh, which are regulators. Uh, we call them the people who just do it by the book. So basically, they'll see a law, they'll do that, but they won't go beyond that. And the other one is proactive. People are actually proactive in instilling food safety and things like that. So. Typically what we find is when we see outbreaks, we see these different forms of food safety culture. So say for example, the Peanut Corporation of America, what they were doing is getting peanut paste and sending it out, even new, though it was salmonella positive, they were using uh, test results that were basically fabricated. So what category do you think they're in? Do you think non-compliers, uh, ignorant regulators, or proactive? Yeah, non-compliers. So non-compliers do the break the law regardless, there's a few of those. Um, and another case is Jensen Brothers with the cantaloupe. So Jensen Brothers were cantaloupe farmers in Colorado, and they suddenly said, we're going to go organic. 
we're going to take all the chlorine away from the wash water, we're going to use manure as natural fertiliser, and lo and behold, we've got listeria, cases 300, with about 25 deaths. Um, now, when they went to court, what was their kind of defence? Did they say they were non compliers ignorant, regulators, or proactive? Yeah, they played the ignorant card, saying, we didn't know listeria came in, or we didn't know sanitizer did this and that. So they got away with it. They got six months um, probation uh, when they should have been with De Costa in jail for life. But anyway, that's another matter. <laughs> and then you get Maple Leaf Foods, and they're involved in the listeria outbreak linked to um, Dunny Meats. And when the event happened, well, the event was caused, as I keep going on about, is this sort of extending production, reducing sanitation, and they were ignoring the stereo positives. But what do you think they are? Do you think they were non compliers, um, ignorant, uh, or not regulated or proactive? Go for a hat trick. Non proactive. <laughs> kind of. What's the middle one? Uh, the, the yeah, basically regulators. Their, their defense uh, was that, oh, we only do it to the law. Nobody told us about trend analysis. We didn't have to do it by regulation. And that's where to kind of change things up a little bit. And to say a company's proactive, I tell you, it's going to be very hard pushed to even name one. I know Maple Leaf say, oh, yes, we're proactive. But not really. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. But anyway, I've said it. So, uh, uh, so proactive ones, you could say Pillsbury back in the day, you know, when they introduced Hassel, but that's not matter. So what today's exercise is to do is a bit of different things. One is training. One is food safety culture, and the third one is how groups work together. So I'm sure you've been all these team exercises. You know, when you want your own, it's easy. You do this, you do that, and no problem. When you get to a group mentality, it's very different, and we're going to test that today. So what I'm going to do is ask the four volunteers to stay here, and hopefully you're still volunteering. And if the audience, if the audience go back to the seat, and what they're going to try and do is just write down the violations of C. And then we do a post-mortem afterwards. And for those volunteering, you know, if you want to make a deliberate mistake, oh good, no one's going to get marked on you, and it's entertaining. All right, so uh, if you have the vol vol volunteers here, I'll take them through what they're going to do and see how it goes. All right. Oh, you've lost it all, right? Oh, we're good. All right, so this is the uh, task. So it's um, representing the person in history, so about 15 minutes later. Because people are like, well, 15 minutes, don't they? Is it charming? Oh, yeah. He's doing these. So, what you're going to make is a uh, cheeseburger. Okay. I'm going to try it down. Oh, okay. Uh, cheeseburger. Yep. You can make either guacamole or a, um, an avocado salad. Okay. Do you want to yeah, do I mean, you don't have to make guacamole, do you? Well, I guess I can do I think it's that'll be easier. Yeah. Oh right, so it's Caesar salad then. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, not with avocado. Okay, well, I was just saying, do you not have to make guacamole? Isn't you just like mash up the like, Yeah, seeds, peppers, yeah. and dark. Oh, I'll have guacamole then. Oh, um, okay. And, uh, for the, and the beef burger, you've got to make them scratch. So it's yep. ground beef burger. Egg. Yeah. Um, Bread that's crumbs, right, well done. Crackers, and then your seasoning. And uh, to finish off, I've got some eyes there. Okay. Uh, to finish off, you can make a whipped cream cake. Okay, a cake. Well, no. Oh, was it no, 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 don't worry. No, no, no. We'll give you a chat. So I'm going to be uh, passing comment, but don't listen to me. Okay. You know, because uh, I don't get uh, well. I'd like to say if you want to do a deliberate thing, that's no okay. problem. All right. So what the audience has to do in this you want to do one thing. on an exercise is to um, write down the violations, and then we'll come back to see what they do. And I'll do a running commentary. So I'm going to give them 15 minutes, and I'm going to give them 15. 15 minutes from, I don't know, wait till we get the clock going. Uh, Let me see one cutting board is covered. That's my thing too, yeah. You're going to cut it and then we'll like wash oh, right, it. Alright, so uh, like to the start, you've got 15 minutes to go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Send another cutting board. Okay. Send it to the other Okay. Okay. Wash it. Why is there something so much? Okay. No, one's sanitizing. One's for like bringing okay. dishes and one's sanitizing. Yeah, um, and there's like the ones that are just for your vegetables. Yeah. Oh, this is a yeah, we wash the hands first. Okay, yeah, fair enough. 
So what you're noticing already, what they're doing is washing the hands in uh, a sink which was really meant to do washing oh, of this is the hand washing sink So the there. reason why they've got so many sinks laid, laid around is because once the hand washing, <laughs> once the project, oh there you go, it's too late. Uh, but this is instantly, you can see uh, the group mentality now is uh, the, uh, this is ha what it happened. One follows the other. And one doesn't want to be different, saying, oh, there's different sinks here. So, so that's an interesting, towel this could be an interesting one. Towel. So what we've got is like a conflict. One's trying to become a leader, the other one's opposing. No, no, keep going, don't listen to me. So, what so that was interesting, isn't it? Yeah, when you were um, sanitizing the service, all she did was wash uh, out the bowl. I could have had that in, well, I've had it in the office all uh, year. Uh, Is paper put over here so the meat separate from the vegetables? Yeah. No, so that's a good move. So the reason why we've got these two things is to okay, separate so raw from cooked. Am I just making a question? Am I just making all of it? Like using all of the meat? Does it matter? Well, who's partial to a hamburger? Is it? Oh, well, if you want to make all of it, you can. Yeah, it's way stop one, though, isn't it? <laughs> Are there like forks or something? So this is a common thing, so she's handled the meat and now she's looking for something to actually mix it with. But, and so, like I say, she's got E. coli in her hands at the moment, so she's going to, oh, is she going, oh, listen to me, you're doing good. Why does this look like this? So the thing is, is obviously the hamburger is going to take the longest to cook. So they're already making the thing up to quick to cook first. And this is what happens. So she's going to be under a lot of pressure now to get that hamburger done in time. Because she sees all these other processes that are going on. Keep going, you think you're good. Um, all the gloves are out, that's good. So, so we talk about uh, contact, direct contact, and usually with certain, and it's, yeah, debate about it. Some people say gloves are good because, you know, you can tell you're wearing gloves and you're not going to cross contaminate. But the fact is, what we have to look at, and she's not listening, hopefully, is that, see how often she changes the gloves. So, has anybody uh, seen something now? Has anyone seen something oh, that nice. um, oh, if they right. went to McDonald's down the road okay. or the keg or whatever and you saw this in the kitchen, what would you start thinking? So what do you think was from the maintenance service? How did the now? What would they get closed down for? Well, what are the things that would be closed down for? I don't know if it would be closed down for not that's right, no protective uh, everything at all. And the protective both of hair nets, obviously hair nets have to do with some of the first head But it's really down to hair, you're going to find the hair in the hamper, isn't it? And the thing is, is the, the divided hair is not using them. So it'll be interesting to see at what point they actually suddenly decide to do it. I know certain, I had a high school uh, class doing this exercise. They just uh, ignored me, I school sure some does. <laughs> but, uh, and they never did it. I don't think we have a spoon. So another thing that that fails to do, isn't it? And you know, putting back to one of the violations is that you keep hot foods hot, cold foods cold. They seem perfectly happy for everything to be just laid out, don't they? Uh, so, Obviously, you have to bring things out to room temperature for, to work with them. But typically, what you would do is declutter the space, isn't it? Each one of those surfaces is a cross-contamination point. And contamination can last a bit of time. Oh, no onion in your... Um, I thought you'd put an onion in uh, beef Pretty? burger. I thought you would put an onion in beef burger. It's all right, don't worry about it. No, I just thought you would, that's all. It's all I can tell you... Yeah, you put onions in burgers, don't you? That's not what I do. Alright. You go for your recipe, then you're fine. 
Ja, ich will ihn gehen. So, that's one thing that failed. What, what, what do you think the other thing that failed to do? So, yeah, the hair nets and the detective clothing, definitely. <laughs> but what's the other thing that failed to do as well? Like when you were just stood there, what did you notice on the counter? Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. There were beef on the counter. It's obviously it's not sanitised. And so, uh, what you would normally do is, sorry, keep going. Uh, you, you normally sanitize your steak butter, sanitize. And what you would normally do, the reason why we have three sinks there is to do those washing rations, as we said before. In the first sink, you wash off the organics, the second sink is detergent, the third sink is sanitizer. And you can rinse after that. Like, yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter the size. They haven't like even three, looked at that, have they? Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, no, that's solid. I mean, if we make it smaller, it'll cook faster, but I think it's fine. So, it's really yeah. interesting for the dynamics as well. Yeah, yeah. basically, yeah. what they're doing, they're asking each other, because when you ask somebody something, you're deflecting the blame. And it was a very similar to the maple leaf outbreak in that when the QA manager was talking about the positive and the results. She was telling their boss, and that was deflecting their responsibility. And if you look at Blue Bell Ice Cream, for example, where the sanitation crew knew they were feeding the uh, ice cream things right, but because they told the manager they were deflecting responsibility, even though uh, one of those managers got five years in jail for that. All right, so... Did you wash your hands again? I didn't see. Yeah, I took off my gloves. Oh, that, that, no, no, don't wash your hands. You're doing good. That's a common misconception, isn't it? Because you take off your gloves, and the thing is, you think, oh, my hands are good, and I don't have to wash my hands, and that's one of the disadvantages. Of, Wait, um, you know? yeah, I'll try and reduce the cluster. Okay. 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 So, um, so, do you want to. Work Wear hair nets and things, or <laughs> oh, there's oh, there you oh, go. Oh, You've discovered something. Wait, I guess you really get a chance to like see what this building has. So, so that's the common again. thing as well. You know, when people don't see it, they don't use it, and it's a very common thing. Oh, there you go. That's good. So. Um, but you can see how it is, even though we said right at the start saying you've got to wear protective clothing, you know, they, they didn't take that knowledge and put it into practice. I have now, but since we've told them. And really what it's down to is that there's a bit of a fight for leadership. The, the, the leadership fights kind of died down. But without a leader, there's nobody there to tell them what to do. And they're kind of going off on their own direction in that. <laughs> well, what's getting support from? <laughs> Call a friend. Thank you, audience member. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's see, a detail. So, the time back to hair. Yeah, they've got hair next on now. That's good. And like I say, the aprons are there, you know, protect yourself, protect the food. It's amazing what you pick up as you walk along in everyday life and that. So the sanitation is coming in. So, so what's the thing she's doing wrong now? No, keep going. You're fine. You're doing good. You're, you're born to this. I'm going to get you every year to do this because you're doing good. So what did she do wrong? So the thing is, what you're going to try and do is you rinse it first. You put your detergent afterwards, isn't it? So you, you fill the, the sink up. You, running water is fine, but you're going to miss most of the board, isn't it? And then you add detergent, then you sanitize. Sorry, wouldn't um, running water be better? Or is well, that what you're saying? 
you're right, to a degree, but the thing with running water is that you don't capture all the surface. So some part of it where you're especially holding it doesn't get sanitized. So the whole set and it's pedantic there, but no worry about sanitizing. Why should we worry? So she's not sanitizing, she's actually using a towel. She doesn't know where that towel's been by, but anyway, it's all right. Now, what you've noticed, isn't it, is one person who's got no apron on, or hair now. <laughs> <laughs> who's that one there? My face. So if you want to put an apron on, or, or a hair oh, now. Head. You've got the Guinness one, it's good. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's, uh, I think you'll find knives in the drawers and that you need. Yeah, don't put your hand up, whatever you do. I think it's in the back drawer, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I think that's it, yeah. Is there a knife in the drawers? There should be some somewhere. Oh, I mean, like a bigger knife. Oh, you Now, this is another interesting dilemma, isn't it? On purpose, there's not enough hair to go round. Did you notice nobody's saying to her, saying, Hey, can we have more notes? Oh, I think she's going to say Who's going to stand up? I wonder if anyone's going to stand up and say you're excluded. See, this is exactly what happens in industry is that unless you've got the leader, people do what they want to do. They're, they're kind of old, old silos and that. So typically, if you saw some, and this is, comes back to food safety culture, if you saw somebody doing something wrong, a positive food safety culture would mean you would correct them. But obviously it's very awkward, isn't it? Because they're on par with each other. And this is the problem where you don't have leadership. But even then, in good food safety culture, even the, the uh, sort of line work, you should be able to tell the CEO when he comes out saying, you're not wearing hair then. But it's interesting, there was now a, um, a video, and if you look at the video, and it's, uh, I think it's in Winnipeg, where there was this owner stirring the hand of barbecue sauce with his uh, open arm. And even the food person, the uh, sort of assistant said to him, you can't disperse sauce with an open hand or arm. But he just ignored it, which is... Mm -hmm. oh, I was thinking more just like in the pan oh, okay. <laughs> than put them on afterwards. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. Oh, very nice touch. Can I put this in the fridge? Or no? So, this is interesting. She's asking for permission. Like, again, why is she... Because she doesn't want to be a leader. She's going out of the way not to be a leader. They're very good there. I'm not here, so I, don't ask me. I don't know anything. Okay, can put it in the freezer? Oh, it's going to the freezer. <laughs> I don't know. Is the fridge be better? I just mean because you want to like freeze. So it's quite interesting dynamic. I wonder if someone's going to say. Oh, you've got some cilantro if you want to put it in the guacamole. Yeah, I got So there's two interesting things here, isn't it? One is that you're washing it there, so you know, handling a washing like that, how effective is it going to be? It's hard to keep going, you're good. Um, what you should do is, I mean, but what's the other thing? What is the biggest thing that you can see? That if you were working at McDonald's or at the keg or something like that, you would say, what? Is uh, it back on the same place? Yeah, that's another one, but even bigger than that. Uh, well, I'd say gloves, no gloves, is one of those contentious issues, but did you hear what he just said before he washed it? Alright, so what he said... Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, he said it wasn't that green. Yeah, it wasn't that good. Well, of course it's not good. I've had that in my office drawer for a week. So, um, <laughs> it's alright, don't... <laughs> well, you see what I mean? Like, people use um, ingredients, even though you think, well, you know, well, I wouldn't eat that, but... Because they're making it for somebody else, you know, essentially they're saying it's just a product, it's not uh, vital. So that's another sort of big thing that happens in industry. So what we have here is that we've got uh, the cheese now. So the cheese is going to be heated over, but um, 
Or if anyone says I need to put a screaming down on the surface yet, I might have missed it. The crutch is still there. The cheese has been opened. There's meat on the counter. It's not open. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of um, nose touch you're doing on the bad way, we're going to do that. <laughs> but it's interesting, yeah, that even though we're sensing them, saying, you know, this uh, cilantro is not very really good, uh, yeah, it's been kicking around, they're still using it. I don't think they'll be able to tell. So even the dirty utensils, well, they don't have to be salad. I'll tell you, I'm going to get Jessie to try and see if she likes it. <laughs> Now uh, again, what they're, what they're definitely trying to do is not become a leader. They're, they're what yeah. they allow them. That's a yarn on top of the side. How much? Can we have the time? Oh, I think I can tell you the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've got all your times up. Well, we can go for oh. another 10 minutes. Can we have the 10 minutes? Oh, we can have the 10 minutes. Well, uh, don't forget the Caesar salad. Uh, yeah, do, we'll give I you another. Is it, is it already possible to get fresh lettuce, or is this the best we have? <laughs> well, sorry, is it possible that. to get um, better lettuce, or is that all we have? I'm afraid that's all I got. Okay. I got it from oh, uh, discount at Walmart. Great. So, putting yeah, pudding. Which thing do we put it in? Um, I always say never put knives in the sink. That's just the first, like, because if someone reaches their hand in the sink and you get cut. Oh, you see, this is good. But, like, we don't have, like, a, 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 a utensil. Normally, it's, like, a utensil rack thing. Yeah. Like, where's that? Is this our, Oh, that's like it. Are we able to use this as well? Or? No, I'm pretty sure. Is this So, pretty nice in the safe. So, you see, it's their dishwasher, their commercial kitchen, and Rasting should kind of use the dishwasher. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's kind of the dishwasher. Well, you're, well, we you're have, exactly like, right. You never put knives in sinks. So, that's not a microbiology thing, that's a safety thing, isn't it? Well, I like the rinse thing. Yeah, rinsing is not doing anything. They still haven't filled the sink with sanitizer. Uh, oh, it's not even used. Not even used. So we're not putting okay. it in there. Not used. So I'll just pretending we put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you worked your movies before. So uh, what we have then is we that. Might, I mean, might as well. We have time to make it. You're fine. I mean, we're still winning everything else. So, Pretty sad salad. Yeah. This just had um, onions on it before you wash it again. So the best way to wash salad is in a colander and the running water. Don't soak lettuce because soaking lettuce just basically means the bacteria go back to and fro. You know, it's, I know it's unbelievable. No, I don't say it's unbelievable. But, you know, we just talked about cilantro not being good. That lettuce, yeah, I've actually been kicking around my office for a week as well. But that, that's like totally blind, you know, saying, say, well, we've got to do it. And that's what happens in industry, is that you do what you have to do. And you can see why there's food borne illness outbreaks going on. Uh, because uh, people do things that they wouldn't do at home. Like, if you're at home, you probably uh, wouldn't touch it. But because you're in this setting with a team, and like I say, with this team, it's interesting that nobody wants to be a leader. Uh, trying to get one to be a leader, but she doesn't want to be a leader, so. I mean, sure. What if that would become like wet? It would be a soggy, soggy salad. I guess you don't have a rinse, like a finger rinse, but we have the colander. Yeah. And then it would use like, um. Those quite nice. Like paper towel or like a cloth or something, and then you like, like roll it in it. Like put it down and you can roll it. It needs to be like clean here. Clean, um. So that's good. She, she starts to be the leader, and in a lot of ways, if she was no, it's all right, guys. She's so sensitive. Um, if she she starts, she wanted to be the leader from the start, but somebody opposed her. But now she's stepping forward, saying, "Look, do this, do that." But by doing that, she's neglecting her own duty. Like she still has to start to like service and things like that. Oh, true. So this is an interesting dynamic, I don't know names, I won't mention names, but what she's doing is she's trying to take leadership of by not being responsible, so she's telling the leader, saying you should do this, you should do that, so if it goes wrong, the leader gets the blame, not her, so it's the, it's the kind of uh, thing on the background. 
Yeah, no, it's fine. But I've got you some tomatoes as like, well if you want. Like, like, cut the flat and then put it on the roll it up. Or okay. just dab it, whatever. Yeah, just gonna... Whatever works best for you. This cup's good, you know, because he's basically really taking. It's all right. No, don't do it me. He's good because what he's doing is actually following instructions. And you need that mixture of people. You need a mixture of people who do what they're told to do rather than somebody who questions it. So, it's uh, the way the team dynamic is. You can't just have all leaders. Um, you have a few good ones. That tree's really been whipped. I think it's been going for about half an hour. <laughs> it must be a uh, hard cream to whip. toast or anything? No. I guess not. I guess you could... I mean, like, if you have another pan, we could toast the pan in this. I mean, like, 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 some people don't like their hamburger buns toasted. True. I guess the customer doesn't want their hamburger buns. <laughs> yeah, so, like, you know, like, you, like, you put, like, on a grill, you yeah. know, toast it slightly. So it's, like, warm. So, like, that's just, like, my first experience. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, um, we're gonna, we'll press the time because I think people want to go home. <laughs> uh, I think your customers are getting a bit anxious. <laughs> yeah. 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 We can't, you know, just shut up with it. Right. I mean, it doesn't matter. Guys, we're getting a one-star review on Yelp. <laughs> 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 so how, how long do you think? Have we got? How long is it for you guys to finish? You have that pretty much done. Do you want to start icing the um? Do you want to slice the cake and then like put it in the cake or just like? I feel like if you top. slice it and then on like the long side you can put it on top. It's easier to slice it then ice it than try to put the whipped cream on and then cut it. Off. Yeah, it takes the safest bit. I tell you. So that's good. She's taking leadership. She's asking what should I do, even though you think. Yes, yeah, why, why are you waiting for direction? You know, do, but it's, no, it's good to see that. You can see a ball leader here. There you go. So, <laughs> but you're a good leader as well because what you're doing is like being an advisor to her. You're quite happy for her to become a leader. <laughs> All right, so he's opening up a pack now. So. How do I open this? Oh, do you need help? Yeah, can you help me, please? Thank you. Oh, God. So yeah, like so the, uh, with that, the, the gloves and that, your transparencies and that, uh, no gloves, yeah, debate. So she's all right though, she's been hand, oh, the, it's open the cheese. Do you want to? Oh, my hands are, what did you, did you no. I'm just touching this stuff, so So this is oh, ready sir? to eat, Wait, so. Wait, uh, you have clean your hands? Yeah, clean hands, but I can wear the gloves. Do I just wear the gloves? Yeah. And then just throw the three slices on. It's totally interesting, isn't it? Like I mean, asking like, permission to wear gloves. She doesn't want to do it on her own. And if she says yes, wear gloves, that's good. Absolutely. <laughs> Could do a PhD on this. Just throw the cheese on there. Let it melt. And then, then we just have the plate. Burgers are like ready in like two minutes. Okay, half. Oh, if you're a tomato lover, you're, you're out of luck, I'm afraid. Here. Here. So, um, so what's one thing that's got a uh, big thing that's got to do? I need to know you finished, I've got to take that and take What, what is it? I've missed something out completely now. Um, well, that, that's one thing. I'm focused on the hamburger. What's the one thing you haven't done? Check the I have checked it. Oh, well, then, what was the temperature? I missed that one. It wasn't, okay, it wasn't fully cooked, but I wasn't going by temperature, I was going by, like, clear juices. And oh, the, I like honesty. So, um, what was the 